A new development in the case against accused killer Daniel Callahan and his alleged accomplice. They now face a charge of sexual battery related to the two young girls who were kidnapped after their mother was murdered in La Ranger. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott is here with the update. Jordan. Susie Jackson Police Chief Joseph Wade didn't say if the sexual battery charges applied to both of the girls who were kidnapped, but nonetheless, it's a shocking new development. On Monday, the police chief in Jackson, Mississippi, where authorities arrested 36-year-old Daniel Callahan and his alleged accomplice, 32-year-old Victoria Cox, for allegedly kidnapping Jaylee and Aaron Brunette of LaRanger and murdering 4-year-old Aaron, says the pair will be facing multiple charges. The Jackson Police Department have charged both of these individuals with capital murder and sexual battery. Chief Joseph Wade didn't elaborate on the sexual battery charges. As you do your research as to what entails sexual battery, then you will be able to kind of connect the dots. But based on our investigation, based on our collaborative investigation, and based on his statements, we felt that was the appropriate charge. Meanwhile, in Tangipahoa Parish, the coroner said the autopsy of 35-year-old Callie Brunette revealed multiple stab wounds to her head, neck, chest, abdomen, back, and what appeared to be what he called defensive wounds to the arms. The Mississippi coroner performing Aaron's autopsy didn't release their findings Monday. I would assume, and this is clearly an assumption, that she possibly died from asphyxiation or suffocation. Uh, but we would have to wait on the medical examiner before we release that information. I did not see any gunshot wounds or anything like that. So. Wade also talked more about why investigators believe human trafficking may be a factor in the case. I observe small cages myself, these small wiring enclosures, and there were other things that uh, led us to believe that it was possibly a location that human trafficking could happen or transpire. Callahan and Cox are also facing charges in Tangipahoa Parish, as well as federal charges. But I think if there is a case that would definitely uh, rise to the level of the death penalty, this should be it. Because I still have imprinted in my head the sight of that four-year-old in the woods dead. And next Monday, we expect to learn more as we hear from the additional agencies in this case. Susie? Just seems to get worse and worse. Thanks for the update, Jordan.